Afternoon guys, right, uh, this is a quick uh, video, I promised uh, a couple of my subscribers, uh, just explaining where uh, I find my vans for sale and whatnot. Um, there's four or five main places where I use, uh, mainly you need your mobile phone, a smartphone uh, or a laptop, uh, I go on Gumtree, uh, an app called Spock. Um, everybody goes on eBay. Uh, one what's more or less fell out of favour is Auto Trader website. Uh, I still use that. And uh, Facebook Marketplace. That's uh, that's uh, that's a really good uh, good source for vans. So uh, I'm going to keep this video as quick as possible because it's going to be quite boring, really. But uh, I'm. I'm just thought it might help a few people uh, who are searching for vans. So, right, I'll just give you a couple of examples. So, we're on laptop here. Um, we'll go on. Let's, uh, let's just go on eBay, because everybody goes on eBay, don't they? We'll go on eBay. Going to motors. Come on. Commercial vehicles. Right, we'll just put in just for elevate uh, Citroen. Citroen relay. That's 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 a reasonable size van. Right. So. I'll pick on first one, what, what we come up with. We'll pretend I'm interested in this. I'm not really, but uh, we'll just go on to on general uh, description of this and find out what, what they want to tell us about it. So, it's done 174,000 miles. I won't touch that with a 10 foot barge pole, but we're just using this one as an example. So, right, and this is from a dealer, and uh, dealers aren't really a very good example. Uh, you're, you're actually better off buying private, but uh, dealers have to be pretty truthful about uh, about history of the vans. But private people uh, tend to tell a few pork pies. So, right, well, pretend I'm interested in this, even though I'm not. Right, first thing we do is uh, I go through photos and I try and find a photo at Van's registration plate. Right, so let's see if we can see that when it's blown up. Come on, you bugger. Right. So we'll pretend this van I'm interested in. Registration is GV65NND. So now I switch to my phone. And I've downloaded on my phone a couple of free apps. Now there I'm in bottom. I hope you can make this out. Uh, one's called Vehicle Smart and the other one's called Know Your Car. So I go on Vehicle Smart. These are all free apps, what don't cost you a carrot, you can just get them off at App Store. Now it's asking for vehicle registration plate, so we put in GV65NND. NND. Right, so we click search, search again. And this will bring all details of that van up. So it tells me. When tax were due, when MOT is due. So there's no tax. If it lights up in red, there's no tax. If it's in blue, it's got MOT. It expires on 14th of April 2021. So there's 258 days uh, MOT left. Uh, why I've got two different uh, apps on is because they, they both tell you very slightly different information. So on this one, this one gives me information like, uh, that's what I like to see, when the last V, 
Oh, I've lost it now. Chuffing up. G V sixty five N N D search search. Uh, this is me with sausage fingers. Right, uh, on this particular app, it'll tell you. So it tells you when last V5 were issued. So the logbook should be in the person who's had it since 2020. So this guy, uh, its own last logbook were only issued on 17th of July. So that makes me wonder why uh, is it up for sale when it's only had a logbook change in July 2020 and we're only on 30th now. Nah. So that had raised my suspicions as to why, why it's for sale. Uh, so then I go down to mileage data. So it's uh, it was three year old on last year and it had done 150,000 mile in three years so it's average 50,000 mile a year uh, it's last MOT it had done 173,331 mile I hope you can see this with this camera so uh, this will tell you <clears throat> if there's any mileage discrepancies uh, it lights up in red and it gives you a warning to tell you that the mileage has been interfered with for some reason or other. So if any of them are lit up in red, uh, it warns you that uh, that mileage isn't correct. So then you can go on MOT history and it tells you if it's green it's had a pass. Uh, if it's orange that means it's had uh, advisories. So last advisories were front brake pads and rear brake pads. Uh, year before it failed, so we can look on that and see what it failed on. It failed on, it failed on front windscreen wipers, not clearing windscreen effectively. So you can go through all past history, and especially with older vans, you can go past down past history and see if it's ever failed on welding, which on some older vans is one of the main bugbears. So I personally try and avoid any what's had a lot of welding done in past. Uh, it, it can mean an utter nightmare so I steer well clear of them so that one we've just gone on that was vehicle smart so other one is know your car so we've gone know your car like I said both these apps tell you slightly different things so we'll put same reg in G V 65 NND and it's come up oh. G V why is that not coming up? We'll go through long handed. GV65 NND. Oh, fucking. My fingers are like pork sausages, I'm not kidding. NND. Search. Right, so we're looking for the same van but on a different thing. So it's telling me the same thing. Citroen relay, blah de blah, temp MOT and whatnot. Um, it's got the same thing here with. Uh, with mileage you can click on mileage and it shows you the same thing which is graph 150,000 mile for the first MOT 173 for this one uh, go on MOT check oh where's MOT gone MOT full MOT history right tells you the same thing it got a pass but it had advisories that one without fail Front windscreen wiper does not clear. Near side of obligatory mirror does not provide. So this gives you more information on what it failed on. And it failed on quite a lot to say it were only a three year old van. Which uh, it doesn't inspire confidence. It means to me it's had quite an hard life. And with that sort of mileage it's understandable. Uh, so right we'll go back to the beginning. Uh, one other thing it does have is it has an exclamation mark here. So if you just... Click on that exclamation mark, uh, it tells you colour, diesel, fuel, uh, it's CO2 emissions, but down at the bottom it says tax rates, and if you click on tax rates, it tells you how much a year uh, tax is. It's 260 for a year, 143 for six months, and uh, how much direct debit is. So, 
if you're running on a tight budget and you need to know how much your road takes is, that particular app uh, gives you better MOT information. That one is called Know Your Car. They're both free. Both, both of these apps, apps are free. And uh, it gives you all, all information you should need. Uh, sorry, that might be a bit close. So, uh, yeah, so we'll look for something else. Just for a uh, just for hell of it. Uh, this time we'll go on Facebook because there's quite a few. Uh, I don't like to label people as dodgy dealers on uh, on Facebook, but to be honest with you, there is. So you've got, it's you've got to be really careful when you're buying uh, buying off of these buggers. So we'll put same thing in again. Search. We'll put Citroen Relay. Right, we'll have a look for a Citroen Relay. Let's see if we can find one what, what might be of interest to us. We'll find a cheap one and then we'll uh, we'll find out if there's any uh, hidden history behind it. Just one what might look a bit dodgy. Um, there you go. We'll, we'll, we'll click on this one just for hell of it. Right, we'll go back and uh, find a photo at Reg. There we go. So we'll go back to his uh, vehicle smart. We'll do them both again. Bike. This one is SH. 55 F U O F U O search search <coughs> right so this one is sewn Texas sewn on this one there's 103 days MOT left uh, we'll check mileage uh, mileage seems right there's none of them lit up red if any of them had been lit up red then uh, it's arranged Raised alarm bells, we'll go on MOT history and it's got quite a few fails but we'll go back to to that one front brake slightly deteriorated we'll go on what it failed on near side position lamp not working oh, that press wrong in there that, what's that fail? offside headlamp to eye uh, these van, these mark what early vans are notorious for rust. So actually, this one don't look a, a bad one, apart from sky high mileage and it's battered about a bit. But it's only thirteen hundred quid, so I suppose it's uh, it's quite a lot of van fop money. So we'll come out of that one. We'll go back on vehicle smart. We'll enter Reg on this one. S H fifty five. F U O don't search right we'll see what this has got to tell us tell us the same thing well, let's have a look at MOT uh, MOT info full MOT history we'll go back to that fail see there's a lot more things where it actually failed on here than on that other one so that's why I like to keep them both uh, position lamp not working, front anti-roll bars, parking brakes, we'll go on that fail, offside headlamp to eye, we'll go on that one, front brake application uneven, near side lower radius arm rubber bushes deteriorated, so like I say, uh, mileage is right on this one, uh, I like to see that graph to have a slow climb like that, when it's got a dip in, in like that, that's uh, it ain't gone down, but it's just had a year there where it's hardly done any mileage. So, well, a couple of years actually, between 2010 2013. Let's go on net history check. Mileage history. So, yeah, uh, in 2010 it had done 108,000 miles, 2011 it had only done 110, then 2013 So, it had a year where it did hardly any mileage, but uh, 
yeah, that's uh, so that's uh, that's uh, that's basically our, our, our I, I checked the history on my vans. Now, another thing I do with my phone is if I find a van I'm interested in, or a car, or a motorbike, or whatever I'm thinking of buying, uh, I just go on my text messages and then uh, there's a thing called my text check. My text check there. I think numbers. Uh, Seven three three three. I can't remember offhand. Let me find the oh, bugger. Got wrong it. So I go on my text check, and uh, I can do a check on any vehicle. Now, that last vehicle I, I did a check on on here, I did it for somebody at work. This costs uh, three pound, and it's uh, a basic HPI check. So this particular vehicle were a, a Vauxhall Astra. Registration with KU58 EUK. So it tells you if it's got 130,000 mile on what value is. Now, when it was brand new, it was 21 grand. The forecourt value at this moment in time is 1690. Trading value 1290. Private sale 1390. And auction valuation is 1090. This tells me it's had no colour changes, it's not been stolen or scrapped. And yeah, for uh, my text check phone number is eight three six hundred. All you do is you you just take the registration number to that, and then it comes back with all these details. It says we well, have no record of this vehicle being a stolen, uh, being a total loss claim by insurance. So by doing that, you can find out all history of vehicle. Now my text check is not a full. HPI search but it's only three quid if you want a full HPI search you can go online with registration number but it'll cost you 30 quid um, other thing is if you're buying a van uh, you have to weigh up value at van uh, and how far you've got to travel I mean I'll jump in in car and I'll go all over country to look at them if I think I'm, that uh, van sounds right but what you've got to bear in mind is uh, you've got to spend a day looking for it, uh, a, a, a day travelling to see it, and a day to get it back. Uh, so all this comes into uh, all this comes into value at van. So it's if you're going to be travelling any distance, it's got to be really cheap. And other thing is, if you're going a long distance, then obviously you need to do all them checks to make sure that when you get there, you find out that uh, it's been clogged or it's been in it accident or it's been stolen recovered or out like that so that's an end to this video i tried to keep it as quick as possible a lot of people will already already know all these tricks and whatnot uh but it, it just helps uh normal every person just to check check a few things before you even go and think about looking at a van uh if you're not sure about going to look at a van uh you can go on aa website and aa will go and do a vehicle check for you and I think they charge £93 and uh, they'll go out and they'll check all your basics of her on your vehicle and uh, they'll tell you whether uh, they think it's worth the money what seller's asking for it or not. So if, if you're still a bit wary about buying a van it's, uh, or a car, it's, uh, it's got to be £93 quid well, well spent. I've never personally used them myself. Um, other place I go to is auction, and I'd like to show you on website how uh, I go and check vans out on, on website. But at the moment, all websites are shut down for uh, for buying. It's it's online buying only. It's not uh, so they're not advertising the vans like they used to. So all vans used to come up. You could uh, get registration plate. You could do all your HPI checks and whatnot. And uh, but at the moment, auctions are shut to. Uh, to uh, to to personal viewing it's it's all online only it's a big gamble and i re i refuse to buy one uh we are actually seeing it in flesh uh i know you're paying indemnity which is a bit of an insurance clause but uh they are if there's out wrong with van once you've bought it uh, they're reluctant to give you your money back so uh, you really need to be there and uh, and see van in flesh Right, I'm going to call that an end to this video. It's uh, it's just a quick uh, 
information video and I hope it will help to some people and uh, <coughs> I hope you could see uh, <coughs> excuse me got a sore throat I hope you could see what, what, what were on my phone with all the details and what I was trying to get across to you so uh, if this uh, video were any help to you uh, give us a thumbs up if not give us a thumbs down it, it, it all helps and uh, thanks for your uh, thanks for your support and uh, I've still not got a van myself for my next uh, for my next project, and uh, I'm going away to Padstow tomorrow, so uh, I'm going to have a, a quiet week uh, week's holiday. Uh, unless I see out for sale while I'm down there, then I don't think I'll be uh, I don't think I'll be getting any new projects in next week. So I'll see you when I get back off holiday, and uh, thanks for your support. Cheers, fellas.